Cowboys owner Jerry Jones told the Dallas Morning News that Tony Aroma will be spending more time around the Valley Ranch practice facility. When pressed about what he meant, he said, quote, Peyton Manning type time on the job. <laughs> <laughs> It just, it just, I, I don't know. It just, it's unbelievable. It's a, so let me get this straight. Uh -huh. so let me get this straight, okay, Skip? <laughs> Bobby, I didn't know, Skip. I didn't know. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Over the last three seasons, they are 6-10, and 8-8, and 8-8. Eight and, eight and, eight and, eight. Mm -hmm. and R Tony Romo's eight years, they have one playoff victory. And suddenly the epiphany hits you. Oh, he needs to spend more time in the field room. <laughs> he needs to put in Peyton Manning minutes. And dare I say, needs to be more of an integral part of your office. This is the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And it took you eight years to come to this conclusion. No wonder they fight. I mean, it's unbelievable. Just when you see that the Dallas Cowboys can't, can't do something else idiotic to make news. Here it is. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Eight years, Skip. Eight years this dude has been the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And it didn't. It didn't occur to anybody that he needed to spend more time in, in, in the film room, that he needed to show up to practice early and be the last one to leave, to, to, to emulate some of the successful habits of a Peyton Manning, of a Drew Brees, of a bad man named Aaron Rodgers. It never occurred to anybody until now. No wonder they stink. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Just go ahead, Skip. <laughs> Okay. That's unbelievable, Skip. That's so, I'm sorry. Just go ahead, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, cool. man. Are you finished? I, I need some water. Yeah, you need some water. Ahead, you need Skip. more than water. All right, Carrie, I, I think I'm done for today. You're I'll done. See you later. You're, you're leaving. You're out now. Okay. You can't walk away either. <laughs> unbelievable. Stephen I. Smith. Unbelievable. Cowboys, five stars. What I get. It's like a Papa John's Pepsi. Double threat. It took Jerry Jones. I think foolishly giving Tony Romo six years and $108 million, $55 million guaranteed, more guaranteed dollars than Joe Flacco got in Baltimore for winning the Super Bowl. It took all that for little Tony to agree to work hard. It took you, I'll give you all this money. We'll, we'll throw in. Ten more million. Would you just show up a little earlier? Would you come in maybe like a half hour earlier on Monday? Would you would you come in for an hour on Tuesday, the players day off, just to help us formulate the game plans so we can feel like your head is in the game? Stephen A., what have I been critical of Tony Romo about for years on this show in the offseason? Spending too much time playing golf. It's his number one passion in life, and he is really good. He is a scratch golfer. Every year he tries to qualify for the United <laughs> States Open. He's doing everything but trying to get better at football. Every offseason, I hear that Tony Romo is playing in this basketball league and that basketball league because he's really good at basketball. Even the great Deion Sanders has told me, Tony Romo can play. You know, he's got real talent as a point guard. <laughs> It's his passion. That's his second biggest passion in life is basketball. What about football, Tony? Why aren't you out there right now throwing to your receivers trying to get better? They had to pay him $108 million to come to work and show up like Peyton does and Brady does and do all that stuff. And I'm sure he'll be bored to tears when he comes in early because he won't know what to do with himself because Tony Romo, we all know, he just makes it up on the fly, Stephen A. Eh? Snapping the ball and he'll just kind of run around and, oh, maybe I'll throw it over there. Focus on I've had ball. enough. I can't you have, defend you, you anymore, have, Tony. You have the seen the light. You have <laughs> seen the light. I am so proud of you, yeah. Skip. You have finally Pay seen the light. By hard. the way, by the way, by, by, by the way, I will say this. I will say this. This one thing in Tony Romo's defense. I have seen the wife, and I imagine oh. that he has other passions, well, okay? okay? Because it's football, it's now. golf, it's basketball, and it's hard. That's above football. I, I will say that, and, and, and I yeah. support him on that they point. They have a but child, let's be, so but, I'm sure but that's let's, but let's, way let's, ahead of football. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they do. Yeah, they one. do. Congrats yeah. with that. Beautiful family. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something, Skip. 
This is what I was telling you. I mean, think of Skip. Not only did they have to pay him to convince him to do it, they actually came out with it, Skip, like it was good news. Like it was, yeah, like it was something to He's put. Like, come it, to like it was something to put. He's look, more time look at us. In the look, look at <laughs> us. He'll, he'll come to work. He's going to put in the extra hey, hours. Skip. Hey, hey, Skip. Hey, Skip. <laughs> Gary, Skip. I, I guess he's the second coming to Cal Ripken Jr. He should, he's coming to work. He's coming to work. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming to work. <laughs> Thank you. Stephen A., you are not right. You know Cal. <laughs> Cowboy Nation is angry with you at this they're moment. Pa- they're pathetic. Oh, no. They're pathetic. I mean, listen, they got guys on there that can play. Sure. Some real dudes that I love. But I'm just talking about the organization collectively led by Jerry Jones, who, by the way, I respect as a businessman. But as a football dude running the operations, you see what the problem is. This is unbelievable. Look at us. We got our quarterback to come to work. <laughs> We come to show up. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Well, you know only what? Only the Cowboys. Only the Cowboys. Only the Cowboys.